Nation. Today, I wanted to talk with you about one of the things that I am seeing exploding growth and exploding interest in, and that is VA in multifamily homes. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what to expect in order to put rounds down range, utilizing your VA home loan benefit to purchase a duplex, triplex, or even up to a fourplex with your VA home loan benefit. Good to go. So before we get started, business to take care of. If you found that this information was of value and I earned it, would you consider showing your love by clicking like on this video? Also, if you want to learn more about VA home loans, consider subscribing to the channel. It helps this channel to grow and more veterans and active duty military are learning about their VA home loan benefit. And lastly, comment down below with your questions. And I personally, yes, Jimmy V will make sure that all of your questions are answered quickly and efficiently. Good to go. So let's get this party started. VA loans and multifamily. One of the things that I love about VA home loans is that you and I as veterans can do all different types of things with it. You could purchase a single family residence, a condo. You can use it to refinance a home and you can even use it to purchase a multi-family home. So the VA loan simply stated comes in all different shapes and sizes, which is exactly why I wanted to talk to you about the VA multifamily process. So this process is complex. And so I want you to pay particularly close attention to the information that I'm about to share with you. One, one unit, all right? Two unit, three unit and four unit property. But here's the big thing that we have to understand veterans. We must do me a favor and say we must. We must live in one of the units as our primary resident. So simply stated, you cannot buy a multifamily home utilizing your VA home loan benefit and not occupy one of the units as a primary resident. So for example, you want to buy a four unit property, got to live in one of the units and you can rent out the other three. There's a couple of other things that VA requires that you and I need to be aware of to ensure that, well, not only can you buy the home, right, but that you're qualified for it. And most importantly, you can close on it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to cite some guidelines from the Department of Veterans Affairs VA Lenders Handbook. What VA is also looking for veterans is that we have six months of mortgage reserves. Okay, six months of mortgage reserves. This is incredibly important. Simply stated, if you don't have six months of mortgage payment based off of the new hypothetical payment that you're going to be qualifying for, you will not be able to obtain a VA loan for a multifamily unit dwelling. So if we do some simple math here, your mortgage payment's $1,000. It's gonna be a lot more than that, by the way. But simple math, math for Marines, $1,000, six months of payments. That means that you need to have $6,000 in the bank, keeping that money throughout the closing to ensure that you check the box for multifamily loans utilizing your VA home loan benefit. You're also going to need to have experience. You as the veteran are going to need to provide a letter of explanation or document that you have experience, okay, managing property. So if you're an investor and you're a veteran, right, how do we determine that? We look at your tax returns. We can see that you've got rental properties on your tax returns. Maybe you have a job within maintenance or something along these lines. We can tie these two together as the lender have to be able to document what the leases are doing on the property, right? How do we do that? Well, we can show the income and operating statement from the particular unit that you're purchasing. In addition to that, we can show maybe a pro forma that shows the expenses, right? And shows that it's a profitable business entity or real estate entity that you're buying into. And that that way we're setting you up for success on your mortgage loan. Now, a lot of veterans will come to me and they'll say, Jimmy, I want to buy this home and I want to utilize the rents that are receiving or that will be received towards qualifying. Let's pump the brakes for just a sec. You as the veteran can only use the rents towards income if we can document A, what they are and B, right? Along with all three of these other kind of necessary pieces of information that the appraiser shows us what the prospective rental income is going to be for each of those units, okay? And we'll say prospective rental income for for the units. This is very important when we're making sure that you qualify for the loan. Now, here's the deal. If you as the veteran want to purchase this home and qualify for it on your own, meaning you don't have to, or you don't have to rely on the other rents received to qualify for this mortgage, you're not going to have to worry about this third bullet point here. We still want to make sure that you have experience. And ultimately, we also want to ensure that you're always going to have the necessary months of reserve in the bank, along with all of the other costs in conjunction with the home in order to qualify utilizing your VA home loan benefit. Remember, you still have to have the income, you still have to have the credit needed and necessary in order to utilize your VA home loan benefit. And these are factors. You must be a primary residence, 
six months of reserves, have experience as a renter. And lastly, if you wanna use that prospective rental income, we need to be able to show that the rents received are in line with market expectations according to the appraisal report. So if you have more questions about VA home loan benefits, multifamily homes, and all of the amazing things that you as a veteran or active duty service member can do with it, drop a comment down below or feel free to reach out to me, jimmy at VA Loans for vets.com. I'm not hard to find.